The ambulance services costs for Hampton Beach State property. The board members. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, do you prefer Mr. Wells lead off on this? And uh, uh, we've all been driving this, but um, however you please. But you want to lead off on this? I'd be happy to, sir. Uh, we went through this, and uh, based on Gatsby standards, uh, we actually had the fire department. Uh, review all the calls they had received for Hampton Beach uh, both for fire and ambulance services and then we had them review all the calls to all state property in the town of Hampton for ambulance and fire service. We also had them compute uh, all the costs of having firefighters go that includes the health insurance, workers comp, life insurance, taxes in the New Hampshire retirement system, ambulance depreciation, engine depreciation, all the factors that we we, we put into the budget for those individual calls. The bottom line, uh, the, the, the master bottom line was $731,787.17. That encompasses the years 14, 15, 16, and 17. So could you give that figure one more time, please? $731,787.17. It's a lot of money. A lot of money. I would say this, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, again, uh, this, uh, and, and just a, uh, a, a quick perusal, is in violation of the state of New Hampshire Constitution regarding mandated programs. Every single year is our cost increase. Every single year is our overtime uh, exigency uh, dwarfs and, and challenges our leadership and our, and our firemen. Uh, and for, for tired uh, responders, uh, uh, creates a uh, uh, a scenario for injury um, that every year every increasing incremental cost is a new uh, um, burden that is foisted upon us. It is not written in the RSA that governed the uh, uh, statutory transfer of title of the beach to uh, the state by the town of Hampton in 1933. There is no legal basis for us to provide the services. This is $165,000 a year, every year. It's growing. It's going to continue to grow. We have had uh, discussions, both I have as a rep, I've had them with a governor and asked for the uh, um, uh, removal of uh, the Dread Commissioner and the State Parks Director for this very same reason. We have sent a letter under your, your leadership, Mr. Chairman. We were told we would receive a response at the end of August. It is now approaching October. We don't get the courtesy of a response. This now should move to the uh, legal arena. I would like it, uh, Mr. Chairman, if uh, you agree and the board does, that Mr. Uh, Gerald is the uh, town esquire who's prepared a motion could uh, lead a way forward and propose a motion for us to seek legal remedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We've been focusing ever since I've arrived here on the fact that in a number of areas, the state of New Hampshire and we have disputes concerning uh, responsibilities at Hampton Beach. Um, with reference to the 1933 session law that Mr. Bean just mentioned, um, I believe that uh, these should be tackled as a package. Um, it not only bears upon Article 28 of the state constitution, as Mr. Bean has mentioned, but also on the Equal Protection Clause of the New Hampshire Constitution, which indicates that equality of benefit is no less required than equality of burden. And uh, we, uh, the, the town of Hampton, uh, provides services that enables the state of New Hampshire to make a, uh, some of the largest revenue in the entire state uh, through parking revenues at the beach. Uh, we provide the state of New Hampshire through our infrastructure the opportunity to earn rooms and meals taxes of which we only earn a small proportion based on our year-round population which is in no relation to the burdens that we bear. Uh, I believe that uh, there are a number of aspects that are involved in our relationship 
and uh, that, that need redress, uh, this being just one of them. And so I would, uh, the thing of that is, if you take on one subject in, in, in a court action without taking on the rest, you're precluded at a later time if it goes to judgment from doing that. So I would, I would suggest to the board that the whole picture be taken on and therefore I uh, have prepared a motion uh, that town council is hereby authorized to initiate a declaratory judgment action in the state courts of the state of New Hampshire to obtain an adjudication of any and all aspects that are in dispute as to the responsibility for state property in the town of Hampton and for services in connection with the use or maintenance of said property and for entitlement to revenues that are generated at Hampton Beach that the state of New Hampshire is now retaining. Can I ask a question? Uh, let's open the questions. We'll start with Mr. Griffin. Um, does this include the sidewalks and the roads and drains? Yes, sir. It certainly yeah, does. Because that, I'm, I think it's time to do it. I, it's, we've waited far too long, and it's time to do something. Agreed. We're going to hold you last, all right? Not that you're wordy. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm all for it. I don't have any questions. Support it. Well, I'm going to go before you, all right? Do you mind? Uh, you're the chair, all Mr. Right. Chairman. What do other town? What, what, what happens in other areas where there's state parks? Now, I'm not talking about the drains and all that. I'm talking about services provided by police, fire, Etc. Public safety. What happens in other towns where there, other in New Hampshire where there are state parks? Do the towns respond, and do they get reimbursed or not? Not to my knowledge, but we'll certainly explore that. I mean, I think everything should be explored, mm -hmm. and and what my my, what what is this going to cost us? Well, certainly any time that my office is authorized to do something, we do explore these things first to be sure and to, to put forth all reasonable grounds for these matters. Uh, obviously, this is a major, this is a major initiative and it, we've had a major problem for many years. The roads, the drainage, uh, Ocean Boulevard, uh, they've been plaguing us for years and uh, without a resolution. That gets visited on us every day. Someone gets hurt down at the beach on Ocean Boulevard, they step in a hole in Ocean Boulevard, the state says talk to the town. It's not our road, and so the people who are hurt uh, are, have a tough time figuring out against whom there's redress. And one of these days, it needs to be resolved, the responsibility, and this is the time. Certainly, there's a lot of costs, but one of the advantages you have from having in-house counsel is that uh, you're not spending the 300 to $400 an hour that you might spend for that outside firm. Uh, the cost of my time is approximately ninety-five to hundred dollars per an hour per hour. Okay, I'll I'll go to Mr. Bean's questions and then I'll reserve to come back to everybody before we do anything. Uh, okay, I, I would uh, move uh, council's motion. I'm looking for a second. I'll second. I'll second that. Okay, discussion on the motion. No discussion. Uh, I would. I would really like to say. I mean, I, I totally agree with everybody. But I totally don't want to jump into something that we're not prepared to jump into, that we're, that we're not well prepared with and going forward, that we don't know what, how it's dealt with in other areas of the state. I'm not saying we have to follow them, but I, you know, I, don't want, I don't want to create a huge problem that then we have the probability of, of winning very small. That's, that's, my, that's my only issue with it, that I, I want to make sure that all our homework has been done that we're well aware of what we're going to do, that we, that we have a plan to move forward, a plan to A, B, C, D. I always like extra plans. I don't like to go in just foolhardy, just jump into something and say, we'll do this today, and then all of a sudden say, and we kind of didn't look into that enough. That's my feeling. The way I look at it is we're out $732,000. We spent money, we've got nothing back. I say we try to get it back. We, we provided a service for people who were in Hampton, and we provide a service for anybody that, I mean, I'm not talking about the parking, I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about the police and the fire and the ambulances. We're going to provide a service for people. Now, I agree, they're in our town. That, that's my feeling. They're in our town. They're on st state property, maybe, but they're in our town. 
Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Uh, I would uh, uh, respectfully request for a vote. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all in favor? Opposed? I would like to say, too, that... Um, we just voted. Yeah, I would no, like that, to that say... That issue is closed. We, we, we voted. He well, called for a vote. I would like to comment I'm, on Well, it. it's vote. It's okay. finished. You We're always moving. control everything, don't you? Well, I'm the chairman. Okay. Thank yeah. you. We, 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 Conflict of interest.